Okay, so we're ready to actually start importing files and get a look at what's going on. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to file and we want to choose import. And we're going to go to that the desktop, that's where I put it. And let's go into the exercise files folder. So this is where we have those files that we did in the first video. And then we'll go to exercise files and let's go to Greyhound Media. And we're going to want all of this. All right. And you can see that it's broken down into actual um, folders. And that's keeping our organi organization really, really tight. And that's what we want to do. But for now, let's just click import. And it'll take a second to import those files. And once it does, we should see it down here at our project. And it's saying, OK, this is a layer file. Just click OK. All right, cool deal. So great. So now what we have here is we have our Greyhound Media. And you can see that this is organized into folders. And this is the best way to do it. Now you're probably saying, what happens if I want to create my own folder? Well, you can click here and you can choose New Bin. And you can see that it adds a folder. So it added it right here in my folder, but that's fine. And if you need to go back, you can just hit this back button and it goes there. But what I can do is I can simply drag this out of the hierarchy if I want to. And it's gone. If you want to rename it, just click on it. We'll just call this test folder. And hit enter. And there you go. Now you can always go back and we can see everything where this is. So if I need to try this down, you can take it out of the hierarchy however you sort of want um, but your project isn't really that complicated so you probably won't have to create a lot of folders but what we do have and I'm gonna delete this folder so I'm gonna click on it and just hit trash alright so great now we have our folders here and let's go into the b-roll folder now if you remember what b-roll is it is simply let's say we're doing an interview with someone and they're at the dog shelter and they're talking about oh these dogs are great they, they play all the time they love balls well I don't want to just hear the the talent or the person that I'm in, interviewing say that I want to see the dogs in action and that's what b-roll is so if I click on b-roll and we're just gonna go into you can go in any one of these folders that you like but we have this here that shows us what our actual folder is so what we can do is all I need to do is just double click here and you'll see that my video pops up right here alright so now what I want to do is this video is really sort of long so what I want to do is I want to sort of splice it and get it to the point in which I get the clip that I want so let's just say I want to start it right at this point and I'm just moving the cursor here but what you can do there is a trick and this is called J K L so J is in jump K as in kite and L as in long right so if I hit J notice that it's going back. If I hit K, it stops. If I hit L, it goes forward. Now you can hit L again. So if I hit L, it goes faster. L again, it goes faster. L again. K, it stops. J goes back. J again goes faster back. J again goes faster. So you can use J, K, and L to sort of speed through this. So let's just say. I want to stop it, start it right here. Uh, let's just say here. All right. So this is where I want to start my video. Well, what I want to do is I want to hit I as in in. All right. 
like you're going in a building all right so I hit I and you'll see that a marker has been given so what I've done is I've saved that spot that I want to keep all right so now as I swing through this I can now hit oh let's say I want to stop it right at this point I'm going to hit O as in out all right so that's all you really have to do so now I have from this part to this part and this is the the clip that I want to necessarily keep so what I want to do is bring it to my timeline which is down here now there are a couple of ways to do this some files and you'll know this because if you see look at this icon you'll see a film strip and then you'll see a green thing that indicates audio so this file has audio and video now with the b-roll I simply only want the actual uh, video file I really don't want the audio file but if you want both you can click and drag on the image and I'm holding this down and I can bring it here and you'll see a plus so if I let go you'll notice that boom it automatically created the sequence for me you don't really have to worry about file formats or anything like that because Premiere is smart enough that it's reading the clip and it knows exactly what this clip was shot in alright so in our case we are good here alright so we have this clip and you'll see that now it's on the source or the program monitor here alright so this is what is on my timeline so if I just hit the spacebar which is play you'll see that it's playing through the actual clip alright so let's say I want a, another file well let's go in and let's say I want this one and I let's say I want to do it right when the dog is walking out so I'm gonna hit I and then I'll probably stop it at O so I want this clip now let's say we only want the video we don't want the audio this time you'll see that the audio track is down here and we're going to talk more about the timeline here in a second but let's say I want just the video well I can click on this film strip and I can click and drag and I can bring this right down there and there it is so as I hit play you can see that that clip and I don't get the audio and you know the difference between because you'll see V1 and then A1 so or A2 A3 so anything with V indicates audio and anything with A indicates uh, anything with A indicates um, audio so V video A audio so that's how you add your in and out points to your clips.